Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Praful Bele, and I'm from collegedunia.com. Very warm welcome to you on our interview series that is Thoughts on Education, where we interview various dignitaries such as the owners, directors, and faculties of various universities and colleges. Before starting the interview, I would request you to kindly give a brief introduction of yourself, and then we'll proceed ahead with the interview, ma'am. Good afternoon, Praful. Thank you for the very warm welcome. Uh, I would like to introduce myself as Dr. Payal Dadal, Director at JD Institute of Fashion Technology. Uh, for my introduction, I would just like to say that I've been in the industry for 26 years where I have been nurturing students right from the age of 16 to even 54. So it's not only about, you know, talking about teens, but also about adults. Ma'am, it was really great uh, to listen about your introduction. Now let's go to the first question of this interview series and that is, what keeps you connected with the education sector and how has your experience been so far with JDIT? What keeps me connected is the love for the students that I have. Ever since school days, I always wanted to be a teacher and uh, because I love kids, that's, that's how I'm in the education industry. And uh, what keeps me going here is that though we have uh, different types of students you know, it, it is always a challenging matter for us as faculty and me as a director where we are learning also every day and we teaching them also the different uh, things or the different aspects of the design industry. Ma'am, being the director of JD Institute of Fashion Technology, what is your philosophy of leadership? How would you describe your leadership style? One thing that I've learned in my life is never use the word I. So that is what I practice, you know, even as a director. I work with my team and we're always we. There is never an I in any one of us. So we work as a team and we're growing as a team. So the faculties, the counselors, the the entire management team is all about we, we, we and that's why where we are today. Ma'am, any insights into how JD Institute of Fashion Technology could be more welcoming to the students of different races or economic backgrounds? The student that enters in the campus of JD Institute is always treated as equals. There is no racism or no economic background that we see over here. Everybody is, is treated as equal. Ma'am, what do you think should be the Institute's top priority over the next 10 years? The Institute's priority has always been quality education. We also believe in sustainability, ethical and innovation design. So that is what we are teaching our students time and again. And we were one of the first institutes to start with sustainable fashion. So we have always taught our students to do sustainable fashion, believe in sustainability and not fast fashion, which is becoming a fashion now. Ma'am. What would you like people to know about your institute they may not know? JD Institute of Fashion Technology is one of the oldest design institutes started in 1988. We have trained more than 28,000 designers and we have 40 centers across India. The designers that we have trained, to name a few, are Rocky S, Shane Peacock, Sriti Sanjeevi, Sonia Sanchi and many more. Ma'am, any suggestions you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? The only suggestion that I would like to give the aspiring students is that be focused, put in your hard work, put your mind and soul into it and you will see the fruits of it. Ma'am, it was really great to have you on our interview series that is Thoughts on Education. It was really great to listen to your views and I thank you on behalf of the College Dunya team and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors.